I think I look tired. I think I look exhausted. I think I look older than my 49, almost 50 years. My hair is crazy because um, yesterday I kept having hot flashes. So when I have a hot flash, it like heats my head from like the inside. And it's as if I have um, just been sitting in a shower, you know, like a, with steam, well, with steam going. Yes, I'm driving, but I'm just in the drive through at Starbucks like usual. No, I'm not wearing a bra today. Anyway, um, coronavirus, I don't even have anything intelligent to say about this. I just want to talk about some of the feels and it's almost my turn. So I'm going to have to, um, take this up in a minute. I wish I had information. I'm almost about to cry. I don't think that's my hormones, but it's just, um, you know, I don't know. It's uh, now the schools are going to be closed. Our schools are going to be closed for three weeks and just the panic and the fear and um, the not knowing how this is going to affect everyone. Like I don't have any fear that I'm going to die. I don't have any fear that my kid's going to die or any of my friends. Uh, like one of my friends was talking about who has older parents. Of course, some, I have concerns about people who are in these high risk groups. And uh, because obviously people are dying. And so I'm trying to explain my... Uh, hold on. Good morning. The sun is peeking out here in the Bay Area. My part of the Bay Area in the East Bay. After rainy yesterday. Gray yesterday. Rainy, rainy this morning. I'm hoping it will stay out for a little bit because I really need a fucking walk. Um, the first part of this video uh, from the other day, I was about to cry, like legit. Uh, I'm still having moments where I'm about to cry, even though like I have every reason so far not to cry because, um, you know, I'm healthy and my kid's healthy and my friends are healthy and my family and all that stuff. <clears throat> but... Um, obviously this still sucks. Um, I'm in the Starbucks drive through I am wearing my sports bra. I could have gone in, but I wanted to film some more. So, um, looking across the street at a grocery store, the grocery store parking lot is full. So there are things that are still normal. Um, what's not normal is I still can't find toilet paper. I literally almost bought toilet paper off of eBay. Like, I was looking at the page, and by the time I signed in, they said the seller was on vacation. So, I was like, oh, this price doesn't look that bad, and it's actually my brand. I'm going to try not to touch my face, but I do all the time. And, um, but at least I haven't gone out and touched anything, you know, to, you know what I'm saying. I literally just washed my hands before I went out the door, and I cleaned my doorknobs the other day, so... Because this is all we can do, right? Is just keep washing our fucking hands and cleaning up, cleaning everywhere. You're not going to clean with any Clorox wipes unless you already had any because they don't have any of those either. Um, uh, and like I said, all the kids are going to be home. At least, um, you know, uh, our kids in our school district anyway have been doing stuff on tablets and stuff for years. So this is like, you know, it's not like... If when, you know, born in, being born in 1970, if I was in junior high and they were all of a sudden like, you guys have to like do stuff at home. Like we didn't have fucking computers back then. So, or like Commodore 64s and Commodore 64s wouldn't have been able to handle um, the kind of shit that we have to do. So anyway, um, I just find myself wanting to find the adultiest adult to tell me how I should feel about this. So this is one of those times where I really fucking miss my mom because not that she was a scientist or a doctor or anything like that, but I would just want to talk to her about, uh, the being anxious and having dread over who knows what, because as I told somebody, told my besties this morning, we are in a toilet paperless purgatory right now where this is all fucking brand new we don't know how, because this is completely different than anything else I was watching a TED talks interview because if you're trying to find the adultiest adult like they always be having like some smart people on TED I know that they would have like there could be people on TED you could probably get a TED talk if you're not smart I imagine um 
but I just feel like I, you know, that I literally Googled like TED Talks and coronavirus. And so I was listening to this interview with this guy who is an um, infectious diseases doctor, and he was talking about the math involved with this, how like you could, you singularly could possibly sort of kind of affect like 700 people in a month or some shit like that because if you were to touch the hands of five people in one day which we're not doing anymore so i'm going to get to that if you were to touch the hands of five people and then all of those people touch the hands of five people um and then you multiply that by how long you're infected and i have to go up to the window hold on okay Anyway, back to that TED Talk interview I was listening to. So, and this was an English dude. These are like two English dudes talking to each other. So, you know, the English folks is hella smart and stuff. And I'm not just saying that because my DNA, the ancestry DNA said my shit's largely British. I, everything sounds smarter when you have a British accent. You guys know that. Anyway, um, so they were talking about, yeah, like it's a, compared to the chessboard thing with the grain of rice and you move a square forward and you put another grain of rice and da 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 da, da and you're just like a fucking chessboard board full of rice basically kind of thing. So, um, terrifying. That's terrifying. I, I was looking for something to try to make me feel better and then obviously that didn't really make me feel better. But here's my question that I don't know that anybody can answer is, are we because we're trying to be in some semblance of lockdown. I mean, I happen to have a job where I cannot work remotely. Luckily, I do not have to come in contact with the public, but I still have to go to work. Um, I'm still gonna go to the fucking Starbucks drive through because I'm sorry, I just, I'm eating whatever the fuck I want. I'm still eating out, so that's really me spinning the fucking wheel, although I'm hoping that everybody is, um, you know, hand sanitizing like a motherfucker and using gloves and stuff when they're fixing food. But I am spinning the wheel, I guess, when I do that. But like the there's for me the emotional fucking component of it, um where yeah, I'm gonna still I'm gonna eat some fucking tacos because this all fucking sucks. Um but where was I going? What I wanna know is since we're taking all these measures, we're closing schools we're telling people don't touch anybody even my own fucking kid like I have an I-5 like you know like I'm like we're doing like an elbow thing or something like that so you know and then it's just the two of us in the house and I'm still doing shit like that so with all of these things that we're doing are we going to be able to head off a situation where whatever country that was, there was some country, somebody told me this, so I, 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 I didn't read this, where they were just like, yeah, you're old, and we're not even going to fucking let you in the hospital because you're just going to die, and we need these fucking hospital beds for people who might, like, stand a chance of surviving and stuff, so. Are we going to be able to avoid getting to that kind of situation because of all these things we're doing how long is it going to take this is the part that I hate and that everybody fucking hates is that we just don't know so in the meantime what I'm going to do is I'm still going to be on Facebook looking for funny memes not about the coronavirus because I mean just funny things about whatever like just funny things because I need to laugh and I'm going to try to make people laugh and spread spread joy not germs spread joy not germs here's what i'm gonna fucking do i'm not gonna touch anybody and i'm going to try to spread joy and laughter not germs and that's all i guess that we can do right now and um try to be patient with each other because this is making me cranky as a motherfucker and i'm not in a high risk group and neither is my kid and um it's not going to affect my business and it's not going to affect my livelihood and I'm fucking cranky as fuck. So let's just all try to be more patient with each other and nicer to each other. I'm a fucking bitch. So that's a really hard one for me. But anyway, um, we're all in this together and I, 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 I'm going to, um, I'll do what I can to try to share my feelings as this progresses and, uh, maybe people will be able to relate and stuff and make them feel like you're not alone and uh you know i just like to talk and this is a thing that i like to do that makes me feel normal as normal as i can feel so anyway um virtual hugs to all of you because y'all won't be hugging nobody anytime soon and uh, thanks for listening
and uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to. You know, if I get 100 subscribers, I can get a, a, a URL like that has my name in it or something. That'd be fun. Like, I fucking care about that, but I might as well just end the video with that. So anyway, all right, take care of yourselves, people.